Hello everybody, my name is Yasuko and welcome back from the video on the Yasuko Flips YouTube channel and in this one I have something very strange to unbox and apparently I have two of them for whatever reason. This is a pass around hosted by Pyro Flipper. I've done a few of these already. Um, so I, these are just ballast songs that are getting sent out to get opinions on whether or not they are in production or they're going to be in production and these are prototypes. Anyways, you saw the title. I have something very strange to look at today. And that is the, what is it called? Wait, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> I'm a professional. Okay, I was right. It's called the EOS by Flyscape and it has a bit of a gimmick. Um, gimmicky ballast songs don't always go over very well as evident by stuff like the Flytanium uh, UFO. But the gimmick of this ballast song actually seems kind of cool, so I'm interested to see how it plays out. I have two of them for some reason. I don't know if these are the same, but there it is. In the, the black ballast song, in a black package, there is the Flyscape Eos. That is so much thicker than I was expecting it to be. Holy shit. Oh my god, this thing is insane. So, this ballast song actually lights up, which I think is a freaking sick idea. Zippy sells these end caps um, that you can put on the end of any ballast song to make it light up. But this one almost, almost it kind of looks like the Darksaber from like the Mandalorian. I never watched it, but I, I've, I've seen uh, screenshots before, and this thing kind of looks like that. And looking at it, is it charged? Did it cut? Oh, he lights up. Or at least one of the handles lights up. The other one isn't lighting up right now. Let me turn off the lights, see what this looks like. Okay, it's still daytime, so it's not the darkest uh, in the world in here. But there it is. It is lighting up on the sides, and it has some freaking giant handles. Oh my god. These are like, they're so blocky and the blade is so thin. I guess they gotta fit all those LEDs in there so it makes sense. Let me check out the other one and see if it is the same, the same ballast song. Um, this one has a charger in it and a little screwdriver. Um, it, chire, it, it, chire, it charges wirelessly, which is kind of cool. Um, this is a little charger for it. It just has these little contacts on the bottom that just kind of snap onto the ends of it. Just like that. Very interesting. I don't know how to feel about this thing yet. It's it's very chunky, but also it it's like it lights up. So come on, am I gonna about am I about to complain about the freaking light up ballast song? Oh, and this one has a different blade. So this one it looks like might be a more refined version of this one. It has a larger handle gap and uh the blade cutouts are different. What is this made out of? Yeah, so it looks like this is a farther advanced prototype of this one. So I'm gonna flip this one. Um, is this one charged? Oh, both handles have a switch. That's why. Oh my god. That looks so sick. I hope that the camera picks, picks up what this thing looks like. I'm gonna be real with you. It flips terribly. Like... I mean, it carries momentum fine. Like, it's flip a bull. But when I say these handles are fucking thick, I mean they're like half an inch. Probably more. Like, if I compare these to, like, the Vault Pro. These handles are massive. Um, then again, the Vault Pro doesn't have a bunch of lights in it, so. <laughs> it's kind of unhinged. This would be perfect for, like, a rave or something. I wish it, I wish it had different colors. That would make it, like, even cooler. <laughs> oh my god. Can we giraffe on the freaking light up dark saber ballast song? That's my New Year's resolution, is to learn how to giraffe. I got kind of the steps down for it. But I gotta make it flow together better. Oh my goodness. This thing is so cool. I mean, as you would expect, it's pretty heavy. Um, given that it has lights in it, but it's honestly, it's really not that much heavier than like any other ballast song. I don't know if I'm supposed to use oil on it. I, I feel like that might damage it. Let me check the little information sheet that Pyro sent me. If the EOS is ever too loose or too tight, 
we don't adjust the pivot screws. We actually adjust the the uh, the Zen pin screws, which is rather interesting. Um, which are a very small Torx bit. Okay, we're gonna have to loosen those a little bit. Should I put oil on it? I feel like I really shouldn't put oil on it. Because the way that the light gets into the blade, it like connects down through the pivots, which you can see better on the prototype. I don't think I'm going to put oil on it. But, let me turn on both of them real quick. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. Um... Let's check out the freaking charging process. The fact that I need to like charge a ballast song is a really funny thought. Okay, we're charging. There's a little charging indicator light inside of the handle that's red that you probably can't see. So I'm gonna take pictures of it with my phone. Here you can see the, the red light is on, um, which I'm assuming means it's charging. I wonder how bright it gets. Okay, we connected the magnets, flipped on the switches when charging the light on the battery compartment will be red, which it is right now. And then I guess when it's charged, it'll be green. I guess I'll let this charge for a bit. Um, I wanna see how bright it gets and then I'll be back once it's fully charged. Very strange ballast song. Well, I will see you in a little bit once these are fully charged. Well, once one of them's fully charged, I can't charge both at the same time because they only sent one charging cable. I have returned from charging the EOS and I got some specs from the manufacturer. Um, let's, let me actually turn the lights on. After charging it, it did not get much brighter uh, than it was when I first plugged it in. Although, even in like the light, it still is pretty bright. So, overall, the brightness of this is pretty impressive. Um, so the case of it, the uh, scales, I guess, in this kind of construction are made out of 7075 aluminum, and then the plastic housing inside uh, contains all the electronics that allow the lights to work. And my assumption of how the blade lights up was correct. It has these little uh, contact points uh, near the pivots that basically allow the uh, power from the lithium batteries in the ends of the handles to transfer up to the blade while flipping, which is honestly a very kind of impressing engineering choice. Um, it's a shame that the blade is so like tiny though. I would I would like to see that in like a little more of a polished state, but overall as like a prototype for a, a uh, concept of a product, this thing's super cool. Um, let's see, what else did they say to me? They said that sometimes the blade flickers because of the way that the contacts work uh, to power the LEDs in it. I personally have not had that issue yet, but they did say it would be fixed during production. Um, as I'm flipping it more, I suppose I could talk about the balance and flipping performance. Um, as I said when I first unboxed it, the handles are very thick, so it is not very comfortable to flip. But, I mean, it is flippable, and it's a gimmick, so, you know, it's not really that big of a deal um, at the end of the day. It is very heavily handle-biased. It kind of reminds me of something like the Arctic, um, just with, like, thicker handles. It's because this blade is so small, so they're able to fit all the electronics in the, like, channels of the handles. Um, is why there's so much weight in the handles. But, yeah, I think that's gonna about do it. For this unboxing of the EOS, let me turn on the other one as well. This is a very cool ballast song. I feel like once it's officially out for production, um, I definitely will be purchasing one because this seems just like a super fun thing uh, to, bring, to bring to concerts and show off to friends and whatnot. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Flyscape and uh, Pyro Flipper for sending these out for me to check them out. Um, I will probably continue recording some flipping clips with them on Instagram just because they are such a cool ballast song. And yeah, thanks for watching. Yippee, wahoo. Yippee, oh, I forgot to turn my little light on. I was going to turn on my little pink light, and I didn't. It's on now.